Oh, hey, you! You sneak Crane out! Lavrina, this child here, he's the intruder! Hey, I heard all about you. All your henchmen said that you were a bitch pretty much. Punish them, not me. Don't pay me any mind. Oh, wait, wait! I so have not heard about anyone leaving anywhere. Professor Crane is so going to be very busy. Oh, so very busy. So please, be a nice boy and don't disturb us. We're going back to the HQ lab. Stand aside, please. Going back? Seriously, you are so joking. This so happens to be where you work from now on. After all, we so need you to keep working on your studies. You are so the key to our plan. XD001, the ultimate shadow Pokemon that can never be purified. Stop that nonsense. Do you really think I would help you to do something that horrible? Oh, she stomped her foot. Things are serious now. Oh, that naps. He so must have made a boo-boo again. I so have to punish him lots. Little boy, maybe you can convince Professor Crane. You should so tell him to study our XD001. You see, our plan is to make Shadow Pokemon that can never, ever be purified. XD001 is our first prototype. So, when we work out the problems, we can make combat units with XD series Pokemon. Wouldn't that just be peachy? But we so need the Professor Cooperation for our plan. So please, sweetie, can you please ask him nicely to help? Well, I can't promise that he'll listen to me, but if you stop saying so every other word, I'll at least consider it. Whoa, Michael, don't joke around now. Yeah, you aren't able to do that. So, will you hand over the professor to us nicely? Uh, no, I think I can only take a couple more of your so's, unfortunately. Oh, how nasty, you silly boy. You so won't help me with XD001 either. Oh, you'll be sorry now, but you will so understand. A little hurt is so persuasive. Okay, that does it. That is the third so, and I said I can only handle a couple more. That is beyond my limit. Loverina. Looks very non-threatening, but then, ugh, that grin. She is pure evil. She is starting out with Love Disc. Seriously, your first line of defense is Love Disc, one of the worst Pokemon ever. So, if you're at all curious about why that was acting like that, that's why. Come on, lower stat. I think it's a tech that gets lowered. I liked how Caddy's, like, brushing off getting hit animations. Like, huh, well, I'm not hurt, so it's there. Because like, it's totally with all Caddy's. I don't have a repeat of Carvana. Let's see. Can I harm you without defeating you? Come on. Yes, okay, I think we're good. Huh, well, I'm not hurt, so there. And it's par it's fully paralyzed, okay. We're good. She'll find out. One, two, three, got it. No trouble at all. I've been pretty lucky with the catches this time around. Awesome. Down goes Lavrina. What on earth? How could you be so strong? What is it with that pose? Like, her hair is dripping on the floor. Like, isn't that kind of unhealthy for your hair to have it, like, dragging on the floor like that? And she runs off. L Lavrina! The way she's standing bow-legged in the uh, elevator looks like she's gonna fall over when it starts moving. I don't know, it just looks like that to me. Aurora Beam is so pretty. I can't get over it. I know that I commented on that a few videos ago, but man, it's awesome. Also, I like how CDOT spins around because it's the shape of an acorn. That's pretty funny. What happened, man? Whoa! I guess he... We killed him! Okay. Okay. What do we got back here? It says, Wanted. Team Snagum had Gonzap identified distinct by a distinctively jagged mustache. Not to mention a really long mustache. By the way, why just his mustache? Those eyebrows. I have never seen eyebrows that run off a person's head before in my life. This is probably confiscated from prisoner. Hyper Potion! Holy crap! Okay, I remember that being a good item, though, but damn! A Hyper Potion? That recovers 200 HP! When he said that. <laughs> oh, man. All right, then, what do we have here? Well, if it isn't Trudely and Folly, what do you think you're up to? What are we up to? You've got it all wrong. We're here to do some shopping, that's all. Now, don't you lie to me. I know about the likes of you. You're up to no good, aren't you? Cut us some slack, Officer Johnson, sir. We've had a change of heart. We've sworn off criminal ways. Yes, sir? Some things never change. Seems like Officer Johnson is as useless as ever. He didn't get promoted over the past five years. Nothing. And these guys are just walking around. They don't seem afraid of him whatsoever. They have no trouble blatantly lying to his face. Follow the mental isn't the real reason. Let's get out of here. All right, where are they going to go? They ran into a dead end. There's nothing that way but the canyon and the Coliseum. What are they going to jump down the canyon? And Johnson doesn't even run after them. Like, he doesn't even try to run after them. He, like, walks two steps and just like, nope, I'm done. Ah, uh, useless as ever, man. Why don't you just run out of them? There's nowhere to go. I cut quite the dashing figure, don't I? It's my job to uphold the peace of pirate. Pow! I can picture him, like, winking and pointing his finger while he says that. Uh, I, however, think that I'm just going to be cutting out these battles because none of these trainers have shadow Pokemon. These are all completely optional battles, but I want the experience. So I will see you guys in just a moment for you, about an hour for me.
<laughs> one damage. Oh come on! I've been destroyed. And in turn, whoa, whoa, what the, what the heck? What? My name's Rocket. I'm warming up right now. Could you clear the way? Uh, I have never seen that before. I was like, what is he running around for? Uh, we get another. We're go okay. We're going live. Q. It's you. We remember her from TV. I'm curious to see all the top news from earlier about the Gears guy. Seems they're reporting out Professor Crane being rescued by me! Sounds like an awesome piece of news. I mean, heck, when you got officers like Johnson on the force, you see how useful this police are. I, I take back what I said about how they should have sent in the police. Now nah, we do a much better job than Johnson ever could. Reports say that Professor Crane was rescued by a lone teen. You're wrong. I'm not a lone teen. I'm a lone kid. Yeah, I'm even more of a badass for doing it than you think I am, because I'm even younger than that. If only I could have just busted in. Her name is Anka. She's an anchor named Anka. Wow. Uh, I'm a fan of these puns. What do you have to say? Well, I don't know where my mommy is. Can you please let me find my mommy? Uh, sure. Okay. The little girl joined the party. <laughs> yes, she doesn't have a name. She is just the little girl. Actually, no, her first name could be the, her middle name could be little, and her last name could be girl. Yeah. Uh, people name their kids weirder things than the these days. I mean, heck, look at me. My name is Emil, for God's sake. Well, actually, that's not really that unusual of a name if you're in uh, uh, Europe, I suppose. In America, everyone always calls me Emily. Dear, can't you see a lady is getting ready? Please don't come any closer. Yep, cheap way to keep you from going to that item box. So remember that for later as well. I'm gonna go in here and... Oh, this isn't going well. I have to go on air soon, but my Candy hasn't come back. Oh, her name is Candy. She debunked my head cannon of her name being The Little Girl. I've been told by Annette to not allow, not allow anyone through. He's working right now. Huh? You came from the Pokemon HQ lab, but I still can't let you through. I'll get in trouble if I do. Detro, do we have a visitor? Yeah, that guy didn't let us through. Scold him. After all... Detro not letting us through is a real detriment to our mission. <laughs> oh man, I kill myself. 